Hello everyone, Owl here. Welcome to Star Trek Resurgence. This is a game created by former devs of Telltale Studios. Uh, they formed a new group called Dramatic Labs after Telltale folded in 2018. Of course, Telltale Games is back under new ownership, but since Wolf Among Us 2 isn't coming out for a while, let's play this! Let's get right into it, shall we? This is a Dramatic Labs adventure. The relationships and events you are about to experience will be shaped by the choices you make. I love Star Trek. I really do. Ooh, that's cool. Captain's log, stardate 57931.4. The crew is restless. After spending too many months piecing our ship back together, we're finally about to venture out on a new mission. And the crew isn't letting this unprecedented ion storm slow them down. They're ready for something different. I know I am. Perhaps more than any of them. Fortunately, nothing ever stays the same. It's entropy. The nature of the universe. Change is inevitable. And while entropy says order gives way to chaos, in this case, change is good. Our new first officer is en route to the Resolute, Jara Ryden. I know she'll bring a welcome dose of new blood to the crew. Great with flying. But these little shuttles are the worst. Nah. Stick around in Starfleet and you'll be sure to see worse than this. Oh yeah. I have. And you're here to talk about it. In the flesh. That's good. Oh, sweet. The crew is impacted by the things you say. Sorry, I'm a, I'm a little anxious. I hadn't noticed. I'm on my way to my first assignment. When we get to the Starbase, I'm transferring on to the Resolute. So am I. It won't be easy for Jara to step in at the 11th hour like this. Ah, oh, there's a ship. But if she's half the officer I knew she could become when she was a cadet at Starfleet Academy, she'll be the XO this ship needs right now. Oh, I love this so much. Like, honestly, when it comes to, like, what fantasy universe would you want to live in? It, for me, Star Trek's pretty high on that list. Gene Roddenberry. Earth. Final conflict. Change of Station. Chapter 1. Check it at security. All right. Why did it say right trigger before, but now it's saying WSAD? Ooh. Oh, I guess it wants me to look at this. A star base on the very edge of Federation space. Long way from home now. But we're probably still in the Alpha Quadrant. I just want to look at that. That is so pretty. Love that. Yeah, because Federation space doesn't go into the Beta Quadrant, I don't think. Uh, Commander? I'm not usually such a nervous wreck, by the way. I actually did well at the Academy. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Maybe you've heard of the Torvalon test? Sounds familiar. 
It's a tactical simulator that makes the Kobayashi Maru look like a picnic on Pintaris 5. Anyway, I finished in the top 20. Not just in my class. I, I mean, all time. In the history of the Academy. Uh... So, there's that. Sure, I'll be nice. Really? That's quite impressive. Thank you. It was tough. But, you know, I set my mind to it and it paid off. Sir, are you flirting with me? Please place your hand here. Hold it there for a few seconds. Oh, uh, scan hand. Controls are a little stiff, but it's okay. Welcome, Commander Rydek. Wait, you're Jara Rydek? You absolutely crushed the Torvalon test. You, you finished in what, like the top three? That would be me. <laughs> now I'm really... It, it's an honor to meet you, Commander. Sorry, I, I didn't realize before. Yeah, well... I, I just came off the shuttle and was glad to be on solid ground. Well, now you know. Keep your eyes and ears open and you might pick up on things. I believe Commander Ermod is expecting you. He's in the concourse just ahead. See you on the Resolute. Now, I'm not saying I'm going to fire him out of a torpedo. Because that's not how torpedoes work. I'd fire him out of a torpedo too. But I am considering it. Good day, Commander. Good day. Mm. I don't know, just like being out in space and like on a like a spaceship like this. Well, this is a space station. I don't know. I just find that idea so cool that we can like because right I now space travel. Commander Ermont is a bully. That's him over there. So I'm Boom. looking for someone with blue skin. Uh, so like the idea that we could one day make space travel like relatively comfortable like this. I don't know. Just I know we're so far off from that, but it's cool that one day we could in theory do that. Are you all right? Yeah, I, I'm just. Well, I'm not sure where my departure dock is. The Resolute's gonna leave without me. Look here. The Resolute is leaving from this dock. Ah, you're right. Nerves must be getting to me. I don't really have the greatest confidence in this crew. Thanks so much, Commander. Kinda... People who can't read maps, people who are very nervous with flying... Could you imagine just like you get up in the morning and before your shift you just come over here have a cup of uh, a cup of coffee or a, a rock to Gino, which I'm pretty sure is Klingon coffee. Just I don't know, look at the stars while chilling. Maybe have some music playing in your uh, your earbuds. Can I sit? I can't sit. I have to explore. Ooh, an Orion. Nice. Starbase 128 has four docks. Oh, that I, that's it. All right, cool. I'll pass. Actually, is that a chocolate croissant? Holy crap. Uh, wait, that's like a chocolate croissant with half a loaf of bread, a dinner roll, and some shallots? Well, then I have to remember aliens do exist in this universe. I'll replicate myself a meal once I'm on board. Excuse me, have you seen a Bolian around here? Yes, sir. Right back there, near the replicator. Ah, there he is. Thank you. Happy to help, Commander. I feel bad. I don't know who the red person is. Excuse like, I know me. the green person is an Orion. And of course, the blue people are Bullions. And I don't see any. Well, there's a. Is that a Vulcan or a human? Hmm. I'm sure we'll see more. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Vibrated uh, to the left there, or right. Welcome to the edge of the galaxy, Commander Rydek. Thank you. I'm Commander Jan Ermat, operations officer on the Resolute. Commander? I hope there wasn't too much trouble getting here. 
The storm isn't making anything easy for us right now. I know conditions are less than ideal at the moment. That's fine. It takes more than a little turbulence to rattle me. I'm sure that's the case. We're grateful you were able to come fill our first officer vacancy at such short notice. From everything I've read and everything I've heard, we're lucky you were available to us. Coming from a premier starship and all. To our little research vessel. What have you heard? What exactly have you heard about me? First in your class at the Academy. Received the Starfleet Award of Valor during the Dominion War. Most recently, Tactical Officer and Chief of Security on the USS Endeavor. You've done your homework. Like I said, we're very lucky. Little? I think still massive. The USS Resolute. She may not look like much compared to the bigger ships, but as far as science vessels go, she can more than hold her own. And she doesn't look so bad considering six months ago she was nearly cracked in half, venting plasma, fighting for her life. It was an accident? Equipment malfunction. An accident suggests fault, but no one's to blame. It was a planned test, but the warp core was pushed beyond its limits. It destabilized the dilithium, there was a runaway reaction, and the warp bubble deformed. We thought we could reach a higher resonant frequency, but it was more than she could handle. Cost us our first officer and 22 of our crew. Oof. At the end of the day, we're all responsible for each other. That's, uh... That's what it means to be a crew. To have lost so many lives. That's a high price to pay. Too high by any estimation. But there's nothing that can be done about it now except get back to work. And make sure it never happens again. Listen. I realize you've known Captain Solano for quite some time. And I'm sure you're ready to bring your best. But I should warn you that when the captain announced you would be the new first officer, there were those who felt it was a mistake, that he should have promoted from within. So you might want to tread lightly first. Um, Until they come to value your contributions as much as he does. I can, I can, I can earn their trust. I can do this. Trust is earned, and it sounds like I have my work cut out for me. But I plan on winning them over. I don't doubt that. I just figured it was better to know what you're walking into. Oh, of course. of course. Starfleet has assigned us a high priority. Oh, press enter. Okay. Jara made a good first impression with Commander Ermot, coming off as a shrewd and inquisitive, and inquisitive, while showing empathy for what the crew of the Resolute suffered. Ensign Calloway was grateful for Jara's helpful guidance when he was nervous on the shuttle flight. And then there's three people I haven't met yet. And Carter, uh, I have no information on Carter. <laughs> Um, now, obviously there's a lot of dialogue in this game, so I'm going to try not to talk over it, because I don't, I mean, you know, we're kind of here for the story. Oh, no, I do, no, no, don't want to do that. Pretty mission to the Hotari region. I'll let the captain brief you on board. I know he's eager to see you. Will we be mission ready in time? We have every intention. The crew has been working around the clock to get the ship ready. There's still so much to do. The Hotari sector? Never heard of it. Oh. Ah, quick time events. My old nemesis. Uh, stuck. I got just the thing. Find the plasma torch. Oh gosh, the controls are stiff for some reason. Hyperspanner. Interface coil spanner. Come on. A little bit more. ODN recoupler. Plasma torch. Uh, click. Ooh. It's hot. Okay. Nope. Nope. In the center. Nope. And there we go. Whoop. I'm sure I'm gonna get somebody killed in this game. Uh, it's just kind of a question of who. Is 
just that. Nice. We did a thing. The lower decks. Ah, I love that show. I need to finish it. I've only seen a few episodes of it, but I liked what I saw. I'm so far behind on my Star Trek. I thought that thing was totally fried. <gasps> a trill, I think. Right? The spots are trills, right? Like nice Dax? Work, Carter. Nothing to with Millie. And not a moment too soon. The boss wants us down in engineering. Like, now. Follow Ed Salar to engineering. Use shift while moving to run. Wee! Wee! Ooh, who are you? Lift to. Oh! Come on! Ow! Oh. Oh, these are heavier than they look. Makes more sense than zero G. I think I just blew up my You're back. Welcome. So clean I can see myself. Carter Diaz! And you know what? Not half bad. Oh, I didn't realize we were back. Uh, is there anything else I can really really look at in here? Ooh, teleport pad. Shuttles. Hurry up! Oh, can we go inside? Oh, it's making me walk here. Oh, there we go. Diaz, you're in my light. Sorry. Oh, sorry. The erosion in there was pretty extreme. Nothing I couldn't handle, though. All right, I think Time's that's... a waste in. Wait, where even is she? Oh, there she is. Where are we going? Junction 34B gives you access to the tubes behind cargo storage, all the- Okay, not after the retrofit, bulkheads cut- Oh, that's conversation that's happening. That for some reason we can't hear, but we can read. Engineer. I heard the new XO just arrived. Won't be long before we get underway. I just hope whatever Chovok called us down for, it's something good. I can never tell with him. I'd rather not end up degaussing plasma manifolds. Hanging upside down makes me queasy. You and me working together, we can tackle anything he throws at us. Your optimism is positively contagious. We are smirt. We can do things. Big brain time. Looks like we got here before... Lieutenant Commander Chovak. We were just looking for you, Commander. Petty officers Ed Salar. Diaz. I was beginning to think you would be late. We are all hands on deck right now, which means if you are not at your post at the appointed time, I do not have someone to replace you. A point I have been forced to make to Petty Officer Edzelar on repeated occasions. You know, almost late is not late. <laughs> well, Commander Chovak, isn't it true that if we were almost late, it categorically means that we were not late? That is correct, Mr. Diaz. I mean, if anything, Edzelar and I are following the schedule to the letter. <laughs> yes. Perhaps I should adjust the schedule accordingly. Please don't. Oh, he didn't like that. Uh, so, I don't suppose you wanted us down here to check in before we go off duty? Equip yourselves in EV suits to work on the exterior of the hull. I need you to tune the structural integrity field for optimal performance. The subspace distortions and ionic interference we are experiencing are preventing the proper calibration. But this ship must be ready to depart shortly, despite the storm. The precise nature of these disturbances are not fully understood. But many systems have been affected by the wide band of emissive activity. We'll be ready. Whatever it throws at us, we'll be ready. We've got the best chief engineer in the fleet. I am a Vulcan, Mr. Diaz. Flattery is not necessary. I swear. All that I require is that you do your job. Right now, that entails critical preparations, because long-range sensors show that these disturbances will be more severe at our destination, the Hotari system. You have your orders. Do not delay. Yes, Commander Chobok. I swear, when we said he was the best engineer, oh, he smirked. On deck. Just a little bit. 
Oh, what's that? All hands on deck. That's what Chobok said. You know what that means? It means the ship isn't ready to go out and the brass know it. So they're throwing every warm body at it. And they're going to leave on schedule. Consequences be damned. It all comes down to us, Nelly. We're the ones who will get it, Rick. I know what we can do. But this isn't just any old refit or any old relaunch. Oh, oh. <laughs> Excuse me. Rude. A lot of new faces coming on board. It's got to be tough coming as a replacement. That's for sure. Give him a chance. They seem all right. Something that happened six months ago while they were off on another ship. Well, that's nothing to hold against them. Yeah, you're right. I guess getting a little new blood on board doesn't hurt. Hold on. Now there's an old face I didn't expect to see again. Hey, Miranda! You weren't gonna leave without me, were you? Miranda, you're here? We thought you were staying on the Adirondack. Transfer came in at the last minute, so I figured I'd slum it on this bucket of bolts. Looks like you got her back together pretty nicely. Uh, you'd wrap I wasn't back. sure what to expect. Don't insult my ship! Don't talk badly about one of the best ships in all of Starfleet. We've rebuilt enough of her by now. She better be one of the best. We'll see about that. But I am glad to be here. He still owes me a bottle of Saurian brandy. Don't think I forgot. Oh, yeah, it's coming back to me now. Maybe Carter can rustle up that bottle and we can give you a proper welcome. As soon as we wrap up this quick little spacewalk. Oh, I have to grab it. Um, I like that they're using the suits from Star Trek VI. Like the assassination scene. Here, Ugh. let me help you. Thanks. It's so definitely one of the, the coolest scenes Are you back in the, in the series. security rotation? Yep. Still running with the usual suspects. Whoa. Good to go. <laughs> See you on the other side. Activating magnetic souls. Ah, cool. Oh, am I? Oh, I have to click on that. All hands. Captain Solano should be here momentarily. You'll have to forgive me, I don't know much about Kobliads. But my understanding is you need a steady supply of deridium to keep your cell structure stabilized, or bad things start to happen. And we have plenty of deridium in sickbay, so there's no risk of running out. Thank you. Feel free to make yourself at home. We're gonna run out later. And help yourself to whatever you like from the replicator. I'm just guessing. I, I didn't get that far. I may be like 10 minutes ahead of where we are right now. Looking good. Oh, all right, cool. It's, exp it's exploration time. Let's go through our captain's desk. Is that gum? Is that the juicy fruit, big red. Oh no, wait, those are supposed to be like data things. Yeah, those are like flash drives. Woo. 
we still got a thing for trains. Chugga chugga choo choo. The warp engines of their day, apparently. Jara Rydeck. <laughs> Last time I saw you, it was graduation from the academy. You'd already secured one of the most prestigious assignments possible. And you were burning with enough ambition to fuel seven trips around the Necrid Expanse. It's good to see you again, Captain. I could not be happier to have you on the Resolute. The only regret is that we couldn't provide you with a warmer welcome. The arrival of a first officer to her new ship deserves a bit of fanfare. Nah, I, I feel but awkward. Unfortunately, we've had our hands full with the refit. That would be totally unnecessary. I don't need any pomp and circumstance. Yeah. You've been here all of five minutes, and already you're trying to make us more efficient. I like it. As I'm sure you've heard, we've had a rough go of it these last six months. The ship suffered some damage, but not nearly as much as the crew. Mm, you mean the accident? I assume you mean the accident. That's right. The tragic accident, really. We were on the verge of a major scientific breakthrough. A quantum leap forward in warp core technology. 10,000 teradynes per second. The ability to travel at a sustained rate of speed longer and faster than we ever dreamed. What would have been the crowning achievement of my career? Right there, within our grasp. <sighs> Until it all went so horribly wrong. We pushed her too hard and a warp core malfunction overloaded the system, creating a pressure gradient way beyond what the ship can handle. It was heartbreaking. We lost some of our best people. As captain, I have to take full responsibility. It was my decision to make. And I have to live with the consequences. I mean, Starfleet's dangerous, man. We all know the risks when we sign up. There are no guarantees. As much as we tell ourselves otherwise. True. But as captain, my job is to mitigate and manage the risks as much as possible. And that's where I failed. In my defense, I will say, I might have avoided the whole ordeal if my senior staff had been willing to trust me. There was a lot of pushback from my former XO. I think that cost me his confidence. I don't want you to pull any punches. Certainly not on my account. But once we decide on the course of action, I need everyone to fully commit to the mission. Yeah, it anything sounds... short of that just won't work. It sounds like what Data and said that's to when uh things start to go sideways. To Wharf. This is your ship and you are the captain. So as far as I'm concerned, whatever you say goes. That's the kind of support I'm looking for. Look, I'll be blunt. We can't afford another mistake. Or at least, I can't. I feel like my career is hanging in the balance here. We need a win. Something to restore the crew's confidence. I understand. On a more positive note, Starfleet has tasked us with what they're calling a mission of the highest priority. Yeah, all the missions Escorting are important. Escorting a senior diplomat to Hotari space. Two previously peaceful and otherwise non-aggressive civilizations now find themselves on the brink of all-out war. So it's a peacekeeping mission. I see it as a golden opportunity to not only prove what the Resolute and her crew are truly capable of, but also a mission for which we're uniquely qualified. This ionic storm. Our long-range sensors suggest it's several orders of magnitude stronger than anything on record. A total anomaly like nothing we've seen before. You'll never guess where it leads. Hatari. Exactly. Hmm. Very nearly in the precise location where we're headed. Where I imagine the interference will be exponentially greater. So we're but gonna... the diplomat will brief us on the details of the rendezvous. So basically, we're being sent into yeah, the eye we're of gonna fly to a hurricane. more powerful than anything on record. Well, yes. But we're taking every precaution. Oh boy. But I don't want to get ahead of myself. I expect we'll have some rough sledding when we arrive, so I need you to prepare the crew for the worst. 
There's just one more thing I want to clarify up front. The metric that, for me, will be the ultimate measure of your success. What is it? If, after serving as my first officer, you don't one day find yourself with a ship of your own, then I will consider it my personal failure. When that might happen is entirely up to you. But it goes without saying. You have my full support. I would be honored. It's been a dream of mine since before I can remember. So I would be honored to become a captain someday. As long as you're willing to do the work, you have my promise. I'll do everything in my power to see that it happens. Thank you. Come. Let me introduce you to the crew. Yay. I do wish that they would wait a second or two more before putting up the choices, because, you know, I want to, like, talk about them and be like, oh, should I do this, should I do that? But the other guy keeps talking, and I don't want to talk over people, and I'm... I feel like I am doing that, but like I, I don't want to. What is that? Starfleet Academy Zachary Solano? Solano? Oh my gosh. That's so cool. A freaking touchscreen computer that's also a window. Love it. Alright. We can't click on anything, so let's go. But otherwise, I don't have any real complaints. Yeah, there's been some weird graphical things, but. Nothing too bad. Uh, I'm just going to assume we're going to the lit up door. No? Oh. Apparently I can't go there. Alright. And I can't sprint either. Uh, here? Ah. attention for a moment. I'd like to introduce Commander Jara Rydak, our new first officer. Some quick introductions. This is Lieutenant Handar, our helmsman, one of the best in the business. One of? <laughs> well, what he lacks in humility, he more than makes up for in ability. A pleasure to meet you, Commander. Likewise. Next, we have Commander Westbrook, our chief science officer come to rely on his expert counsel on a regular basis. Pleasure. Commander Rydak, it is such an honor to meet you. This is our tactical officer, Lieutenant Bedrosian, who's been looking forward to meeting you for about as long as I can remember. I've been following your career for quite some time. Oh, cool. And I look forward to learning as much as I can from you. Uh, that's very kind. Also a little creepy. That's very kind of you to say. I'm happy to be here. Well, I have to admit, one of the reasons I've followed your career is because you're part Kobliat. Because of what you've overcome. Starfleet stands up for people who can't defend themselves. And you were one of those people once. But since then, you've done so much to protect others who need it. I really admire that. So, you've been something of an inspiration to me. I Not am. that I've done anything close to what you've done. But well, you definitely set a standard to strive for. God, but the... Mm. I don't know what to say. That's incredibly flattering. Thank you. I hope someday I can follow in your footsteps. I'm sure you will. And then, of course, you've already met Commander Ermont. Yeah, he's cool. We're buds. Please, do everything you can to make Commander Rydeck feel at home here. I'll be on the Starbase. Have an urgent meeting with the Starbase commander to get our authorization to get underway. If they drag their feet any longer, we won't make our rendezvous. The bridge is yours. Oh. Nice. Sit in the captain's chair when ready. Ooh, the big chair. Which I notice has a headrest, whereas mine, I don't believe, has one at all. The first officer's seat. It's my, my chair. Seat. Right now, though, I need to fill in for Captain Solano. See, he has armrests too? Why don't I, I don't get armrests or a headrest? So not fair. Ooh. Tactical hollow dais. Just like they've got on the Excelsior. Oh, she was on the Excelsior? That's Sulu's ship. Nice. Come on. 
the helm. The Resolute is a refitted Centaur class, meaning it's capable of quick maneuvers. Can't wait to see what she can do. Centaur? I don't know. I kind of prefer a Constitution class myself, but... Operations. Staffing. Supplies. There's a lot to keep track of on a starship. Good thing we have Commander Ermont. Let's see what else we got. Communications. Keeps us in contact internally and with other vessels. Cuckoo. Tactical station. Hopefully a diplomatic mission won't require we use our weapons much. But if <laughs> it comes to that, we'll be ready. Oh gosh, look how high up it is. Could you imagine, like, if you were if you're short, how do you like is it adjustable or do you have to get a stool? Because I've worked with some very short people, and can't imagine using that would be fun. Science station. The Resolute is a science vessel, primarily. Might explain Commander Westbrook's attitude. I'll have to speak with him later. Yeah, I think I basically stole his job. I'm pretty sure he was next in line to be first officer, but then I snagged it, so... Whoops! Ooh, the big chair. Commander, Chief Engineer Chovak needs to lower the structural integrity field. He sent a crew out to recalibrate the emitters in response to the danger posed by the storm. Oh. We just need your go-ahead. Permission granted. Lowering structural integrity field now. Actually, Commander, increase the integrity field. Condition blue. Storm surge. The storm is getting worse. Looks like they turned off the SIF. Great. Let's get to that emitter. Let's go. Look at that. Oh my gosh. These views are just beautiful. Every time we're out here, I half expect to see her in pieces again. She's still got some scars on her. It adds character. When I joined Starfleet, all I wanted was a ride out of town. But this isn't exactly how I pictured it. On the outside of the ship? <laughs> no. Sometimes it feels like we're just part of the machinery. Don't you want more than that? I mean... I mean, Starfleet is noble and all. But it's still a machine. A massive... Massive machine. Yeah, of course I do. Starfleet's an open door. We just have to walk through it. You wanted to get away. Hey, she liked that. I enlisted because I didn't want to wait years just to get out and see the galaxy. I wanted to go somewhere, see new worlds, look up at a sky no one's ever seen before. Just because I'm cranking a hyperspanner up in a Jeffrey's tube today doesn't mean that's all I'll ever be. Diaz to Commander Chovak. We are at the SIF emitter. Acknowledged. You may proceed with the recalibration. All right, let's, uh... Let's fix some emitters. Calibration. Uh, turn two nodes to center the circle indicators. Oh. Oh, I think I see. Nope, 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 over here. Nope, that's not what I wanted. A little bit more. Nope. That? Nope. No, go up. Up. Hup. Okay, I need it to go. Oh! Okay, I did it. Looks good. That wasn't so hard. Is it supposed to be doing that? That looks, uh, bad. Commander Westbrook, right? Chief Science Officer. You remembered my name and my rank. Impressive. <laughs> what? <laughs> 
Yes, I am the chief science officer, and I have the dubious honor of being the most senior officer on this bridge. I know this ship inside Yeah, we stole his job. Uh, just about anyone. That's impressive. What a very impressive list of credentials. You shady. This is a research and discovery ship, first and foremost. Now with a former tactical officer as its new first officer. I'm curious, though. A Kobliad, or half in your case, is an odd choice for first officer, given your vulnerable condition and all. Excuse me? But if, as an example, we found ourselves in a hostile situation, and you were suddenly incapacitated because you needed an infusion, what would happen then? Do not make me go to HR, man. You'd leave Captain Solano without an XO. First Granted, off, that would be a worst case no, scenario. there's a very clear chain of command but in Starfleet, so screw you. In my entire career, it's never been an what issue jerk. or caused the slightest problem. And I don't expect this to be any different. I was just curious, that's all. Listen, can I be blunt, Commander? I see no reason to stop now. <laughs> no, Lover. Your predecessor was one of the best first officers in all of Starfleet. His record was impeccable and his reputation was without equal. I mean no disrespect, but the shoes you're stepping into are almost impossible to fill. He was loved by the crew. And he was one of my closest friends. So I can only hope that you'll live up to expectations. I don't think I could ever replace Commander Sutherland. And it would be a mistake to even try. I agree. So yeah, he liked that. Solano is on the star base. Let me give you an update on this ion storm we're flying into. It's unusual, unlike anything I've ever seen. At the moment, I can't tell you if the Resolute will shrug it off or if we're putting ourselves at risk. However, if we learn more about Blinking. its patterns, its Blinking. nature, we can come up with a scientific countermeasure. Blinking! <laughs> Just a moment. You didn't notice that earth sooner? But, but yeah, don't try to fill in somebody's shoes. Make your own shoes. Or whatever. We've got a massive energy wave inbound on oh boy. screen. <sighs> Tracing its trajectory. Starbase docking clamps are holding. The storm's emissions are fluctuating, coming in waves. And if my projections are right, we're about to get hit by a wideband burst of ionic energy. Like a tsunami. I'm reading power Red out. alert. <laughs> Red alert. Bye. Evacuating main gangway and retracting. Putting sensor visualization on screen. Hey, don't we have crew outside? integrity field shut down. We can't take a direct hit. Time to impact. One minute. Shield systems are severely impacted. We have limited protection. I need every available solution. What are our options? We can weaken the impact of the storm with a deflector pulse. There's a better way. I'm sending all auxiliary power to the deflector dish. Send the aux power to the shield. We can't reactivate the entire shield bubble, but it's a directional threat. So we can orient all we have towards the wave. You have to believe me. We only get one shot at this. We can't afford to get it wrong. She seems sure of herself. That's Let's right. go. Which is why we need to send power to our shields. Bedrosian, get those shields up. Rerouting power to Ooh, shields. Oh, they both like that. Stand by. I need a heading. We've only got one shot. North. Understood. On my command. Heading locked. Raise shields. This well, is it. It was nice knowing you. All hands, brace for impact. supercharged the plasma, forcing it to backflush through the system and creating a dangerous imbalance. It can blow out every primary system on the ship. Just tell us where you need us. I need you to traverse the hull to the access port to recalibrate the port nacelle plasma regulator. All right, uh, we're on it.
We've reached the first access point. Understood. Do you see the override for the level one failsafe circuits? Uh, override the EPS failsafe. I see nothing. Oh, wait, there it is. It's labeled. That's convenient. Affirmative. Engage the override. It should allow us to stop the EPS flow to the warp engine without triggering an automatic core shutdown. Cool. All right, cool, cool, cool. How do I, oh, okay. All right. Failsafe override engaged. Are you sure? I am registering some crosstalk in the bypass circuit. We need to route the signals so they don't interfere with each other. Yes, I know how to do that. Oh, we're just we're literally just swapping them out? Oh, okay, cool, 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 cool. There we go. Failsafe is not the connected. Is resolute. The failsafes are temporarily disabled. Moving on to the EPS regulator. Heads up, Carter. What is that? Uh, what if the discharge is coalesced? It's coming right toward us. I'm gonna try to disrupt it with my phaser. We're gonna try to shoot the lightning with a phaser? At least we get to shoot stuff. Aim. Oh. Alright, good shit. Let's go. Oh, I have to holster it? No. So we gotta climb up the pylon. Not that there's really an up, but, you know. It's all relative. Oh, cool! There's a time limit! I was gonna end the episode here, but I don't think that would be wise to stop at this moment. Oh, I have to pull it out every time. Ah! You... Go away. Go away. Okay. I don't think I need to shoot the... Oh, it's coming towards us! Luckily, we can walk in. Uh, I can't. Ah, oh, son of a crap. Okay. Are you alright? Yeah. Yep. Suit took most of it. Just snuck up on me. That Shit. damaged Shit. your suit. Energy damage. Shit. 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 <laughs> okay. We're almost to the regulator. I'm just gonna hope the ones behind me can't catch up to me. Oh, that's such bull! Carter! That hurt. They like not it's get hit again. Oh gosh, I do not want to have to do this. Okay, holy crap. We're at the regulator. Opening the access panel. It's okay, my now nerves halting the EPS that. flow to the port in a cell. We have little time before it causes an overload in the engine. You yep. must work efficiently. I'm working on it. Uh, no A, and then and then D. Okay, cool. I do like that it's timed though, because it does give a sense of urgency to it. EPS manifold adjusters reset to neutral. Oh, uh, oh, do I have to make it all match? Like that? Wait, grab control. Right. Oh, oh. Okay, now we just need to move the white one a little bit. Right? The EPS lines to the port warp engine are back in balance. Almost done. Once I cycle the manifold nozzles, chill bucket. Oh, that's not a good thing. We're so screwed. Oh, we're so screwed. Duck! Dear's the bridge. We just lost the docking clamp. We've got a lot of debris coming down. All vibrations, too. We can't finish the EPS regulation in these conditions. Please advise. We have to release the ship from that other docking clamp or the hull will be ripped apart. There's a problem. 
The clamps are supposed to disengage automatically in an emergency, but it's not working. Oh, of course it's not. What are our options? The docking clamps are fitted with exploding bolts for an emergency release. We've got crew out there. That'd be like setting off a bomb next to them. Maybe there's another way. Starbase is hailing us. Put them through. Resolute, the remaining mooring arm is failing. You need to disengage from the Starbase now. The damage to the station will be catastrophic. All right, Starbase, we're on it. Acknowledged. Commander, hear me out. Reverse huh. the polarity of the hull, which theoretically will repel the docking clamps and repel the engineering crew right off the hull into the storm. Oh, this that's Captain bad. Solano, put me on screen. Go ahead. Captain, we have a situation. Commander, what are you doing? Blow the bolts on the docking clamp. The captain doesn't know the whole story. I'm giving you an order. Jara? Captain, you brought me here because you trusted me. Can you trust me now? You better be sure you make the right decision. <laughs> no. The captain made himself quite clear. They're gonna get hammered with debris out there. Reverse the polarity. There is protocol. Blow the bolts. Under our lives. They'll be fine. We're going to blow the bolts. Starbase, stand by. We'll warn our crew to take cover. Get it done, Rydeck. Oh my gosh. The science officer and the tactical officer hate me now. All my decisions they dislike. Repair crew, this is acting Captain Jara Rydeck. Be advised, you have more micro debris incoming. Find cover. Oh, uh, cover? Where? Lily, get under the access panel. It's armored with uranium. Ooh. Like a little but shield. What about you? We can Carter. use. Maybe we can both fit behind this. Oh man, what a crazy cliffhanger to, he to head off on, but that's what I'm going to do. Wow, for those words I just said, they were supposed to be. Uh, I'm enjoying this so far, but I'm trying to keep these episodes to like 45 minutes, and we are definitely over that. So that's it for this episode. I hope you liked it. I'm enjoying this. We're now past where I was before the episode where I had technical difficulties. Uh, and now half the crew hates me. But you know what? It is fine. I can win them back. So if you liked what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. If you did not like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe anyway. Uh, and join me next time on this, uh, voyage where no one has ever gone before. Except for every other gamer who is playing this right now. Alright, see you guys later. Bye!